the exhibition of Kurt Cobain is the family's personal collection. So it is mainly Wendy O'Connor's, who is Kurt Cobain's mother, her collection. She kept everything from when Kurt was as young as three. He was an avid drawer. There's a huge amount of artwork that Kurt Cobain drew himself. Then there's loads of pictures from the family albums that have never been seen in the public before. There's garments um, as well. So one of the most special pieces there is the shirt that he wore in Smells Like Teen Spirit. He just pulled it out of the wardrobe on the morning of the, the video for Smells Like Teen Spirit and wore it. It wasn't like a stylist st styled him or anything. There's also a couple of awards here, including his MTV Music Award. And very special, his Converse Runners, which he was rarely seen without. The story behind the Kurt Cobain exhibition is quite special. Um, our CEO, William Doyle, met Kim Cobain, who's Kurt Cobain's sister, in LA uh, last year. The whole family are um, preoccupied with their ancestry, and William put them in touch with a genealogist and, and helped them along that path. They just really liked William, and it was a personal relationship between Kim and, and William that built up somebody that she would trust. So for all those reasons, uh, the Kurt Cobain exhibition came to the Museum of Style Icons in Ireland. When Kurt was in Ireland, um, he found it a very peaceful time in his life and he, he commented in a number of interviews about how when he was in Cork he was on the verge of tears uh, numerous times during the day because he just felt a real spiritual home here. Wendy O'Connor has kept everything from Kurt Cobain's childhood, like there's a Snoopy dog um, lunchbox. When Frances Bean Cobain came here, she got so excited about Chim Chim the monkey. This was a toy that Kurt had from his childhood and it actually appears on the back cover of the album Nevermind. There's a rumour that Kurt Cobain drew the famous Nirvana symbol, the face symbol. So there's a t-shirt of that. We tried to get the family to confirm if that was true or not, but not even they know. There's a lovely smashed guitar as part of the exhibition, so Kurt was very famous for smashing up his guitars. Kim Cobain thought of Museum of Style Icons. It would be the perfect place to bring out these artifacts that have been in storage for, for many, many years, and she wanted to show them to the world. She wanted to show them in a way that would be a fitting legacy to Kurt Cobain.